treated me really good and you were very nice to me. I've always had a great time with your family. I just wanted to know you. And I'm going to be here. Shared between over the course of the entirety of my 29 and a half years would be an understatement. Of course, I could elaborate on peanut butter on the ceiling or cutting Jenny's hair. <laughs> Walking to school an hour early. Yes. When you slipped and fell in a foot race. Yes. Off and on. And enjoying nostalgic and enjoying the stars. I feel like I'm going to give you a <laughs> I, I only say that because he seemed to get all the all the pictures that he had in the award. And that's why I always, he always, always. It's a racket. Yeah, Forrest Gump. Why is that? Because he's good. I don't have a story. Welcome. Why is he all the way you? I'm going to tell you a story that has a new ending you haven't heard yet. And I've been waiting to tell you since as far back as I can remember and probably earlier still than that, my father has been a movie buff. He introduced me to movies of almost all shapes and colors, from brownies to dramas, from animation to action, from science fiction to westerns, and so on. But you know damn well, there's a crucial piece of time missing. Horror movies are important. They're important to film history. They're important to pop culture and important to me. We get all the credit for the latter. And I'm kind of Where there was a giant black and white ants in them, the blood sucking circus freaks and killer clowns. Oh, yeah. Or there was a mooting sludge running amok in well slugs. There were always thrills to be had when Grandma Ungerma was babysitting. <laughs> and it was one horror movie I couldn't look at. You know the one. The horror movie I had to hide on the stairs door. The horror movie that had me asking more than begging, Grandma, is it over yet? <laughs> but that was when Jenny said, I said, I'll turn you off. And Jenny said, no, Grandma, I'll leave it on. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, she said that. And he was up halfway up, first of all, he was halfway up the stairs waiting. <laughs> and then there was one horror movie. Which one was that, then? Oh, no. Okay. Sales lot? You'll see. It's actually a comedy starring Michael Keaton. Yes, yeah, seriously, at at least 20 years of talking about this goddamn movie. <laughs> <laughs> no movie at all. I went digging to find out what it was with all these black tattoos with dead fingers <laughs> to go on and finally track down the squeeze of a poorly rated comedy about a con man and a female detective. Human centipede. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was a bad one. Did you see it? No. Oh. I saw it. I saw the first and second one. Oh. <laughs> oh. I wanted to see another one like that. <laughs> 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 I like that. I like that. Oh, my. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 it's not about centipedes, okay? <laughs> Human centipedes, no problem. The exorcist child's play. Child's play still. But the squeeze starring Michael Keaton as con man Harry Berg Nightmare. Somewhere is a lesson here. Scary is harmless, and harmless can be scary. This recent revelation yet further enforces you what you taught me a long, long time ago. It's only a movie, or put it in your words, it's not real, bud. It's make believe. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was good.